In this lesson, we'll create a simple subroutine and then use it in a strategy. You'll create a subroutine that converts degrees Fahrenheit into degrees Celsius. You'll add this subroutine to your strategy by including it. Once included, you'll call the subroutine from the fuel monitor chart, passing in the temperature reading in degrees Fahrenheit and getting back the temperature in degrees Celsius. You might be wondering, why do we need to use a subroutine to do a simple math conversion? Yes, there are several other simpler ways to do this, but this simple example will clearly outline the steps needed to create, add, and use a subroutine. Let's see how it's done. Be sure to start out in config mode. You don't need to have a strategy open to create a subroutine, but we'll leave the C store strategy open. Select subroutine new. Navigate to where you want to save the subroutine. I'll save the subroutine to a subs folder in my strategies directory. You can have more than one subroutine in the same directory, unlike strategies, which are only one per directory. I'll name my subroutine convert degrees F to C. Give your subroutines descriptive names as they're going to appear as commands. This also means the name shouldn't be the name of an existing command. Click Open and we find that we're in an environment that looks a lot like when you're creating a strategy. However, there are some subtle differences. A subroutine also always starts out with block zero, but notice the tab down below has a little submarine icon next to the subroutine's name. You'll also see the subroutine tab here on the left. From here, you can add blocks and connections to build your logic like you would in a chart. We'll do that in an upcoming lesson. Go ahead and save your subroutine with subroutine save. The next thing we want to do is to define the parameters that will be passed in and out of the subroutine, so we'll do that next.